Are you going about your anxiety recovery work while only focusing on all the things that are still going wrong in your inside and outside worlds? My friends, today we're going to focus on the anxiety recovery signs that you are not conscious of. Because when we become more aware of these anxiety recovery signs, then we are truly truly creating momentum. We are making progress over an anxiety disorder that was never our fault in the first place. You're going to notice that I don't mention anything in regards to anxiety symptoms lessening. Because if I do, then you're going to get the impression that if your anxiety symptoms start to travel or get stronger in strength, then that's a sign that you are not making progress. And that's not true. Because more often than not, as you're making changes to your lifestyle, as you're healing your traumas, as you're going about your self-care work through meditation, grounding, and simply slowing down your life and eliminating the old unconscious negative programs, the symptoms tend to travel and grow in strength. And that's not a bad thing. We must continue on the path that we know is going to work for us, my friends. So let's get to anxiety recovery sign number one right now. Anxiety recovery sign number one is that you've reached a place of unconscious competence towards your mental work. And what that means is you're no longer using up so much brain juice and brain sugar fighting with those old negative ideas and belief systems. It's starting to feel like it's a more natural thing, this, this change work, the adopting of a neutral idea or a positive idea, the change in meaning towards what your body's going through or any external challenge that used to cause anxiety. And this is fantastic because I, I love this sign. And, and it really, it's, it's so big and it's been so big in my own recovery work where I, I no longer w was questioning, am I thinking the right way? You know, am I, am I enacting the right thing? Am I saying the right thing? No, things have a certain degree of flow and ease to them. So your mental work is starting to feel more natural, right? You're no longer fighting mentally so much with those old perceptions and meanings that used to spur on anxiety. Anxiety recovery sign number two is that you're no longer falling for the meaning of something that's coming from your lower self. And your lower self will go about your day and you'll get this text and the text will say, hey, you want to come to that social event tonight? There's going to be a lot of people, right? And your anxiety is going, nope, I don't want to go there, right? And to make sure that you don't go there, we're going to spur on all sorts of ideas, thoughts, and old belief systems to let you know that there are more cons to attending the event then there are pros, but not only ideas, the lower self says. We're going to spur on all these new sensations and symptoms. You're going to feel even more dizzy. You're going to feel numb. You're going to feel tingly. You're going to feel depersonalized. You're going to feel tension so that you don't do something stupid, right? At least that's the perspective coming from the lower self. Okay, so you're no longer falling for these meanings. You're going to the event with an open mind and an open heart. And more often than not, the event goes pretty flawless, right? And even if there was a challenge, because you have the right mindset, the mindset that says, hey, if I feel something in regards to anxiety, I don't have to follow that feeling. I don't have to follow that thought. The only person that continues to strengthen these symptoms, these belief systems, and this identity is you. So if you can strengthen them, you can take them away and strengthen a new belief system, a new action, a new identity, right? Often this doesn't happen overnight. It's not supposed to. So 
as long as you are no longer taking orders by the lower self subconscious mind body then you're on the right track and that's a really good recovery sign sign number three is you no longer feel the need to absorb a tremendous amount of anxiety related information but rather you take little pieces of information throughout the day you understand them and you enact them so no longer are you waking up in the morning going should i listen to a podcast should i listen to a video should i call somebody should i climb a wall should i pet my dog should i go for a swim what should i do for my anxiety should i meditate i can't meditate i tried to meditate i still can't meditate no longer right because now what's happening is you're going about your day and you get this urge, you get this intuitiveness, and it's feeling genuine now. Hey, I'm going to read a book. And maybe the book is anxiety-related, maybe it's not. It doesn't matter anymore, right? Because you just know that you're going to enjoy the book, right? For a long time, I was reading every single anxiety-related piece of information, whether it be book, article, blog, video, podcast, audio, you name it until I got to a point where I was starting to read children's books. And not only children's books, I was starting to read Harry Potter. Any Harry Potter fans out there, right? And so I realized that, hey, maybe I don't need all that information. Maybe the Holy Grail isn't on the outside, but it's on the inside. And that really sparked a lot of more than anxiety moments for me. Anxiety healing sign number four now, within life's challenges, the outcome can be anything and you'd be somewhat okay with it. So you're no longer controlling other people, controlling every aspect of your life, controlling every single habit that you enact in terms of a lifestyle change or whatever it may be. The control is less and you're going about your day going, hey, good things are going to happen and bad things are going to happen externally and internally and I'm okay with both of them and there's a certain degree of being okay with those things and this is a real good anxiety recovery sign can you see this within you comment below if you can anxiety recovery sign number five you are more focused on your healing and inner peace than the state of your physical body going about your day are the sensations still there how strong are they? Will they ever go away? Am I going to have anxiety forever? Hey, where did this ache in my big toe show up? That big toe ache wasn't there before. Go on Google. Don't go on Google. Oh God, I went on Google. Ooh, why is my body so stiff? I've never been this stiff before. Is it this? Is it that? Oh God, someone else had this stiffness and it turned into a disease and illness. Dare I go on? My friends, you're no longer focused on those things. Your physical body is taking a backseat to your own genuine inner healing and transformation. You are now improving at a mental, emotional, physical, and dare I say it, spiritual level. And you are embracing that healing more than focusing all your attention on what's taking place in body and in mind. Because those things are no longer bothersome to you. You no longer see yourself as a body or your thoughts or what you say or what you do anymore. Because so much of that is unconscious, my friends. Comment below and let me know which part of this video spoke to you most deeply. And remember that you are more than anxiety. I love you. Keep going and see the signs. Bye guys.